friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. I am Martina Lilly and today we are going to do three looks, one palette using the new Natasha Denona Yuka palette. I do already have an in-depth review of this palette on my channel where I do like in-depth swatches and everything so I'll link that down below for you guys if you haven't checked that out yet. Today is all about the look inspiration so hopefully that sounds interesting to you guys. If it does, do the YouTube things, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and let's get into it look one there will be timestamps down below for you guys in case you want to like skip through different looks and all that kind of thing everything will be linked down below in the description box they will be affiliate links so if you do shop through them thank you so much i have primed using my rare beauty eye primer already i'm going to take a bk202 and i am going to dip into this cream to powder shade which is called Fushi, and i have been wanting to use this shade since i swatched it or have seen it to be honest because it's just it's really just my kind of a jam of a shade, really. This whole palette really is my my kind of shades, you know? So I'm gonna start by tucking this through the crease or blending it through the crease, I guess. This is a cream to powder formula. So I do find that um, like stamping the color on a little bit and then wiggling to blend it out is usually the best way to use these, but you know, you do you. This also, honestly, I think would look so lovely as just a one and done shade as well. I think it's really pretty. And I really like her cream to powders as one and done shades because they're like, because uh, they are that cream to powder formula, they're really long wearing. Oh, that's, that's really pretty. I like that. I actually think I will pat this on over the whole lid as well. Yeah, I really like that shade. That's lovely. I'm gonna take this shadow now, which is Flax, and I'm gonna take it on an R102. And I'm just going to really lightly concentrate this into the outer corner edge only. Just wanna deepen it slightly. Again, you could even just leave this here and I think that would look really nice. You do you though. I'm gonna take my Intensify stick. You don't have to use this. It just helps with my hooded, hooded eye, sorry. This is uh, the Pat McGrath Loves Intensify stick, sorry if you're wondering. Tapping that on the lids. Picking up a Ruffin number two now, I'm gonna dip into this shade right here. We didn't use this in my review video. This is Plantasia and it is stunning. It is stunning. And I saw um, someone said that this shade does look similar to the shade out of the mini pastel palette. And I actually, from memory, agree with that. But I am going to do like a swatch comparison video of this palette with her collection. So keep a look out for that as well. So I'm just going to press this everywhere that we lay down. The intensifies. Now, if this yellow shade looks intimidating to you and you just want this to be a lot more neutral, if that's your preference, you could totally just use this shade or even one of these greens and it will look a lot more neutral. It's up to you though. I mean, I find this to be very neutral still. This shadow definitely has a little bit more glitter, so I do recommend if you don't like any fallout at all to wet your brush or use the intensifier stick or both. But that shade is gorgeous. Ooh, and in low lighting, oh my lord, these foiled shadows, I tell you what. I want to see these in every palette from now on, Miss Natasha, okay? Because <laughs> they're insane. Oh yeah, I really like that. That's gorgeous. All right, picking up that What's Up uh, 102. I've got no extra color on here. I'm just going to just tap and blend a little bit with that dark brown. We're gonna leave the eyes here. I'll do a speed through of my base makeup and then we'll come back and finish the lower lash line and lips.
so base is all done and I thought I would do my highlighter and blush with you guys just so that you could see but we're gonna finish the eyes first so I've got my Delium Tools triple seven shader brush and I'm gonna dip into the orange shade that we use through the crease so fuchsia and I'm just gonna press that into I'm gonna kind of concentrate it more like I'm not gonna come further than like there and I'm gonna do like a soft kind of kiss I do really feel like this look is coming really like together really well and I'm really happy about it. Also, as a side note, I forgot to tell you guys, I did put a teensy bit of the Olive Satin Cajal Liner from Victoria Beckham on my top waterline and just the brightener on my lower waterline. I thought I'd just save some time because three looks going to be a long video. Uh, dark brown on a little pencil brush and I'm just going to concentrate that on this little outer corner bit here just to connect ever so softly. I am going to put my mascara on. I will do this off camera just to save time again and then we will come back and do the rest of the face. Alrighty, mascara is on, eyes are finished and honestly, I am loving these eyes. They, to me, are just gorgeous. But that's just my opinion, my humble little two cents. I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona Plexi Glow Highlighter. I'm also gonna take the Glow Play blush in Blush Please from MAC. I'm gonna take the Natasha Denona My Dream Lipstick because I think it's perfect for this and I'm just gonna tap it on my lips. And I'm literally gonna do that with no lip liner because I actually, with the eyes being I don't know, I'm just liking a little bit this eye look with a little bit more of a pared down rest of the look, if that makes any sense. Anyway, let's zoom back so you can see the finished look. This is the finished look one. What do you guys think? Honestly, I am super duper in love with this look. Not gonna lie, and I am gonna wash this off because I'm trying to get all three looks filmed today. And I don't wanna wash it off, if I'm honest, because it is beautiful. At least I think so. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down below, and let's go ahead and look, move into look two. So, I just filmed the look not i didn't get the whole way through i literally completed the eye look and then realized i didn't record any of it yeah that was that was fun so i've just washed it off we're gonna start again <laughs> um this time i primed with my nars eye primer and we're just gonna do the same steps so i went in with camu camu and this is a delium tools 785 and i hope this turns out as good or better because i really liked how the look turned out so i'm gonna start by just lightly buffing this and blending this through the crease now, I know on my review video, a couple of you guys were asking for some neutral looks with this palette, which I totally understand. So if this shade is like too out there for you, just switch this with the shade, like any of the other shades really that are quite neutral, you know what I mean? I just want to see how this performs. And honestly, this Camu Camu shade performs so much better than I was anticipating because these kind of like acidy yellow colors they're really quite hard to adhere and show up on the lid. Um, you can obviously use a white base and it's gonna pop even more. And like, honestly, if you had like a white base and then patch this all over the lid with like a smudged black liner, that would look amazing. But this is actually quite impressive just how it's performing all, it's all on its own here. I am thoroughly impressed with the shadow quality in this palette. I really, really am. Now picking up a Delium Tools 765 angled brush, I'm gonna dip into this shadow right here, which is Acacia. And I'm gonna pack this on the outer and inner corners. We're gonna do a halo eye. I don't often do halo eyes and I would, I honestly, I yeah, I very rarely do a halo eye because I don't find they overly suit my hooded eyes. But for the sake of showing something a little bit different and you know halo eyes might look amazing on you so but you can obviously change the shape of it to suit what you want it's all about what makes you feel like you or the best version of you you know just picking up a bk a502 Still using that acacia color, I'm just gonna really softly blend a little bit through here. I cannot believe I didn't press record, I'm so bummed. My eyes are gonna be so sore <laughs> by the end of the day. 
I'm not gonna be able to do makeup tomorrow, that's for sure. Now picking up a wrapper number 13, we're gonna dip into Calathea right here. This is a cream to powder shadow. So I find just tapping really gets the best results with these. So I'm just tapping this to deepen the halo parts, or well, not the halo parts, the outer parts. <laughs> I think I forgot to say in my review video too that the eyeliners hadn't come out on Sephora Australia yet. So as soon as I can find the eyeliners somewhere that I can pick them up, I will be grabbing them too because I really liked the colours of the eyeliners. Taking up my intensifiers, I'm just going to tap this in the centre of the lid where I'm going to put the halo. Picking up a Delium Tools 773, I'm going into Ray here. And Ray is stunning. When I first kind of swatched the palette and saw the palette, I thought that Ray was kind of going to be the shade that I was least interested in. But I don't actually think there's a shade in this palette that I'm least interested in. It's actually one of the first palettes I think I've nearly ever bought where I love every single shade. Like, really do. They're shades that are just absolutely stunning in my mind. And like, this Ray shade is like, uh, chartreuse olive metallic goodness and it's just it's not a gold but it's not a green and it's just perfection in my mind and it's very unique and I love it I love it so yeah this palette is really uh, it's really blowing me out of the water how much I like this palette I'm not gonna lie Refer 28 and we're now gonna tap into this one right here which is Macchia and I'm going to tap this just through the halo a little bit and you might not really be able to see it on camera but this is the kind of shade that in like low lighting is just going to make that halo go you know I don't like a structured halo I like to kind of like scatter the fairy dust up but if you don't like that just you know create like a cut crease kind of halo look or whatever going back into Calathea with my refer 13 I'm just gonna deepen and just marry these um, together just a torch more. Okay, I think this has turned out just as good, maybe slightly better than my last one, so happy days. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this here. We're gonna do the speed through all the base makeup and then come back and finish up the look. Let's wrap up this lower lash line. I'm going to take Calathea on a little pencil brush. Oh, also, I put this Too Faced Killer Eyeliner in the color Camo on my lower waterline, but I don't have anything on my top waterline. So I'm just taking this and lightly smudging it underneath here. 
And that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to take the Plexi Glow Highlighter for the inner corner. Perfect. I'm going to go off camera and put my Victoria Beckham mascara on and then we'll come back and do like highlighter, blush and lips. The eyes are finished. I think they turned out really nice. I'm telling you, I love this palette. I'm going to take the Vive Skin Do for my highlighter. So I just pump a little bit out on the back of my hand and then take my sponge. Oh, so pretty. Nice. I'm going to take this new blush veil from Makeup by Mario in Barely Blushing for my blush. This is a Refa 37 brush. And I really like this. I just did a review of these on my channel, if you're wondering. It is oh, already. I just want like a really soft kiss of blush. I'm actually gonna take this new NARS Afterglow Central Lip Shine that I just literally got today in the mail because it finally dropped in Australia. This is the shade Breathless. Yeah, I think that's perfect because for me with this kind of eye look, I just want everything else to be pared down. Let's zoom out and see the finished look. This is the finished look too. What do you guys think? I really, really like it. Both of these look so far. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wash these off. This is stunning. Like, I love this. Anyway, what do you guys think? Let's go ahead now and move on to the final look. Third look. Let's dip into this brown right here, which is Bally with a What's Up R104. I've primed using the Smashbox, not the Smashbox, the NARS Smudgeproof Eye Primer again. I'm going to wiggle this and blend this out through the crease. If my eyeshadow looks a little bit patchy on this look, it's because my eyes are now sore <laughs> after washing them off like three whole times because I did a look and didn't film it. <laughs> so yeah, they just, see how it's like a bit patchy? They're just sore. It's not the shadow, I swear. So we will get through this as best we can. That shadow is really nice. That also would look lovely as a one and done. All of these shadows individually, beautiful as one and done. Together, beautiful. This palette's a win, I'm telling you. Also in my time, as a side note, Tonight is the night that Pat is releasing her cream blushes, which is very exciting. I'm still very conflicted as to whether or not to get the whole collection or not. <sighs> I just don't know. I'm just not sure I'm going to like the blush formula. But then I really like the Makeup by Mario blush veils, and I feel like it might be similar, maybe. Because they're very, like, dewy. I don't know, you guys. What am I going to do? First world problems. Ruffle 14 and I'm going to dip into the dark brown, which is flax. And I'm going to tap this onto the outer corner here. And then slowly bring it forward. Picking back up the original brush R104 and dipping into Bally, which is that brown, I'm just gonna blend a little bit more here. I'm a little bit torn, I've got to be honest, because I kind of, I want to use that shade, but I also want to use that shade. So, mm, but we did a lot of the greeny gold, so I think I will do that shade. Let's take my Intensify stick first, though. Delium Tools 773, and we're going to go into Elsian, which is like the, I don't know, I guess it's a gunmetal, actually. 
I do really, really like this. Actually, I'll just leave the very inner corner free. I'm taking it almost to the outer corner as well. I do really like that shade, it's so pretty. Picking up a uh, What's Up R110, and now I'm I'm still gonna dip into this shade, which is Como Raby, I can't pronounce it. But I just, I really like this shade. It's so beautiful, and I'm gonna pop that just as a pop on the inner corner. I'm gonna kind of like swoop it up a little bit. So the gunmetal's still like the star, but just have a little extra something something. And then dipping back into flax, which is that dark brown, I'm just going to tap that a little bit. You know, marry them all together. I'm going to leave the eyes here for now. We're going to do speed through of the base and then we'll come back and finish up the last look. Let's do it. I did all of my base makeup except for highlighter and blush and lips uh, like we've been doing. I did put, sorry, black liner from Victoria Beckham. My tight lined with it on my top waterline and the brightener on my lower waterline. And I did put the Victoria Beckham mascara on my top lashes just to save some time. So, Delium Tools Triple Seven Shader Brush. I'm going to take this brown shade here, which is Valley, and press that in here. And then a little bit of a pencil brush and we'll go into Flax, which is the dark brown. Perfect. Um, I'm going to take the Plexi Glow highlighter for my inner corner again. I do think this palette is just missing a little bit of a lighter shade for the inner corner, but that's okay. I mean, we have a million highlighters, so I can use them. Perfect. Oh, I think that's looking quite nice. I will take the Plexi Glow highlighter for me Hoi I guess it's a very glam, like going out type look, isn't it? Well, depending on your version. Everyone's version of looks are different. And then I'm going to take the uh, offbeat Giorgio Armani Luminous Glow blush. I love these Luminous Glow blushes. They are stunning. 
just saw Stornen. I know it's probably boring, but I'm just gonna tap the My Dream lipstick on again. I might actually put a little bit of that Breathless Afterglow over the top. Yeah, perfect. All right, let's zoom out and wrap this video up, shall we? And this is the third and final look. What do you guys think? Which one was your favorite? I actually really liked all three. I don't think I could pick between any of them because I feel like each of them had their own different little vibe going. I really like this palette. I love it. Honestly, I really do. I feel like every look I create with it, it's just perfection. The shades are stunning. Those foiled shades. I tell you what, if Natasha releases more palettes and they don't have that foiled formula in it, we should all revolt because it's so good. But yeah, I, I, I'm just loving, I'm loving this palette. I'm loving the color story. I'm loving it so much more than I thought I was even going to. It's just impeccable to me. I hope you enjoyed all three looks. I will do more looks using this palette on my channel. Don't you worry. It's just too pretty. It's probably going to be seen a bit, I think. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Um, but let me know your thoughts down below. Do you have the palette? Are you planning on picking up the palette? And yeah, what was your favorite look? And if you are watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.